I'm Eddie Kelly. I've been with Justin Boo Company for about 60 years. Started in 1949, retired in 1991. But as you can see, I'm like all the other old stuff you see around here. I'm part of the archives. I'm from Iowa. I'm a corn-fed girl, as you can see. Um, when I came down here, I bought a fringe jacket, probably because Texas you wore a fringe jacket. I'd never seen one until I came down here, but I had to have one. And also got a pair of boots. So I happened to be going into a Western store after about a couple of months, and Someone looked down at my feet and said, are those Justin? And I thought, I don't know. But whatever they are, it seems to be a good name. I have Justin's on. <laughs> I didn't really, I don't know what they were. I don't remember. But anyway, that name always said in my mind, Justin, for some reason. So then, after a few years, I had a friend that worked at Justin. Of course, that came to my attention. And Sam Justin had a square dance club and he wrote two books on square dancing and they used those as advertisement here. So I was invited to one of his square dance sessions. Never had square danced in my life. Didn't even know how to start square dancing because I was from Iowa. We didn't do it up there. So I just loved everybody. Everyone was so sweet. And I thought, this would be a great place to work. Well, it took me six months to get on. Kept asking and asking. They hired me. And I started just on the machine in the plant. And in about three months, I was a supervisor of a department. And all of them that were in the department were old enough to be my mother. I think some of my grandmother. <laughs> But anyway, they were willing to take me in, and uh, I worked there for a while. And then when they decided that they needed a design department, they asked me if I'd like to take that over. So I did, and loved it. Had no formal experience in designing anything. Not a good artist, but I knew enough about boots to where I could sit down at the machine, work out a pattern, and follow the boots through the plant. So that's kind of the story of my life did that until I retired in 1991 and uh, started this two months later and now I know the history of the whole company and uh, I just have one regret. I worked for John Jr.'s dad and his two uncles which was great. He had a couple of aunts that worked here at the same time. I knew them, knew the whole family but never met the real H.J. Justin, which I would love to admit him, but no time machines yet, so that's all.